loving the whole thing here at Ferrari, that Charles Leclerc press conference, really nice. No British press here at all. They're all up with Lewis Hamilton. Fair enough, I guess. But you know, this nationalism, very strange, I think. I mean, Charles Leclerc, I would never miss an opportunity to talk to him, and nor Lewis for that matter, but you know. Lewis has been around a little bit longer and Charles was just so clear and good and a lot of journalists asking him about Ferrari's drop off in performance. He made the point several times that he didn't think, well he, actually I asked him whether or not he felt that the car was slower now than it was at the test at the start of the year and he said no no it's a much quicker car so there is no drop off in performance. What's happened of course is the same had a really good run but then if Charles hadn't made that mistake in Baku as we said before probably he would would have won that race so they wouldn't be saying drop off in performance they'd be saying wow Ferrari back in the game again and I asked Charles about why he didn't take the escape road at Baku and as we suspected it was he, in retrospect of course he would have taken it and he said also the mistake was going that quickly at that point of the weekend and that, that was a lesson learned but also the whole business of not taking the escape road was he could put down to it inexperience as well uh, he was asked about Monaco. Uh, Dieter Rankin asked him about what it would mean to win Monaco, and he said, "Well, you know, he's had a lot of bad luck so far there, and obviously the great luck's going to be with him this year." And I can't disagree with him there. If you had to pick a winner right now for Monaco, I would say Charles Leclerc from Ferrari. But Dieter Rankin, who we can actually see out there now talking, yeah. really good bloke, South African, not afraid to mince words about anything. Dieter said, um, "If Mercedes, no, sorry, if Mercedes win here again this weekend." What will that say about Ferrari? <laughs> Of course, Charles said, well, you know, we're not exactly off the pace, but if they do win here, obviously we need to even work even harder. Whatever. Predictable answer, really. Uh, but a great press conference. And this is Sylvia here, Sylvia Frenzapani, as I call her, uh, who was originally with Williams, then went to McLaren, and now here she is working for Ferrari this year. She's joined Ferrari as the media executive of Ferrari, if that's the right word. And uh, she looks after Charles. Couldn't be a better combination. You add Jock Clear to that, of course, as his engineer, and what a setup! What a setup! Anyway, his Ferrari. There's Cristiano next to them, talking to Pino Allievi, two of the great Italian journalists. We saw Mike Dawson a little bit earlier. Here are two more. There's Pino, Cristiano. Brilliant. Hey, so lovely to see them, and lovely to see, lovely to see the Italians doing what they do. The chap with the uh, shoulder bag is Pierre Dupere. He's been working for the FIA for the last three or four years in the media department, presumably based in Paris. He's now working for the French Grand Prix organizers, and I've just been chatting to him about whether or not there's going to be same problems this year with traffic going to the circuit and he said no they've spent lots of money certainly in the millions on a circulation program and he's pretty convinced that there will be no real issues this year in terms of getting into the circuit parking and access which is good news because the French Grand Prix at Ricard is a great thing to have on the calendar we just need it to work properly as distinct from last year when it didn't so lots of old friends here, there's Clive Chapman, who's just been driving a 79 around Barcelona. Anyway, I was just going into the Mercedes Motorhead to see if um, El Hel Hamilton's still around, probably not. Um, he might well be. Oh, yeah, there he is. He's wearing a beanie. Interesting. It's quite hot outside. So that was a Lewis Hamilton press conference. Lewis, excellent as ever. Pretty short shrift with questions that weren't going to go anywhere. Um, I asked him about how he felt this year's car would go at Monaco based on how it might have felt through the twisty bits of Baku. He said initially, uh, you know, Baku is a different sort of circuit, which obviously it is, it's got a long straight, but he then went on to say that he felt that this year's car he thinks will be pretty quick at Monaco. Obviously he hopes it will be, that goes without saying, but he thinks it will be. Didn't really explain why. He did confirm that it is the longest car out there and therefore that is a major factor in terms of who, uh, how well it does go on tight circuits. So yeah, that was that. A lot of questions about 
why he thought Valtteri was going well and of course Lewis replied well it's not a sudden thing he was pretty good last year as well and would have won a few more races had he not had some issues um, so that you know, I don't think that was particularly significant either. And I think the other stuff was just you know, a lot of questions about his motivation and how well he's driving this year, which we know we've talked about that. And, and he just looked, he looks so good. He looks so on top of his life and his game. There is absolutely no way in the world he won't be super quick this weekend. I'll be very surprised if he doesn't win this Grand Prix, actually. And here's Jack Aitken walking towards us. Hey, buddy. Came out, well, I just posted the posted on YouTube, actually. So is this the, the yeah. first one? Yeah. I watched it today. Hello. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>